going on silencers Cass here and today we're back in timberborn where yours truly is absolutely a moron but more on that in a minute because if you do enjoy the content don't forget to like subscribe comment all those fun things and thank you very much to my patrons for your support in uh well teaching me this beautiful engineering but without any further ado let's get into it now let's start with why i'm an idiot um I know. Shock, shocker there. I didn't press record when I filmed the last episode, so I've been talking to myself for 40 minutes and watching the sound in the microphone to make sure my audio levels were right and all of that shit. Um, you haven't missed much. I just planned out some stuff. We're doing fine for water. They finished the dam, so the water in here should be fine. We're currently a little bit into the next drought. I've got water pumps down here getting built. We're short on supplies uh, because I was changing out these windmills and these ones haven't gotten built yet, um, which is fine, except I'm an idiot. I couldn't figure out why they weren't building all of them, and it's because they can't get in there because uh, I blocked the path. Anyway, um, we built this, the underground pile, which holds 1,800 of one of these resources. We changed over our recipe for the planks to the ecological planks, which take 10 wood, 20 water, and turn it into 20 planks and one dirt which, uh, yes, it's a modded recipe uh, meant to get you dirt a little earlier than normal, but uh, it's more efficient, too. Uh, we planned out a bunch of explosives factories and a bunch of smelters. We probably don't need that many, but what can I say? I'm a little extra. Um, I have these ones set to low priority. These ones set to medium priority. These are now processing. We actually do have a couple of metal blocks. Um, and those are getting put into the explosive factory. Um, we built that builder's hut and yeah, that's pretty. Oh, <laughs> and then this, this beautiful feature of engineering is some lodges. So these bad boys here, these hold three inhabitants. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. 33, 36. So there's 36 right there. These things hold nine. So nine, 18, 27, 36 in the middle. And. Uh, wait, what? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, nine, 18, 27, 36. Why the fuck? Um, and this is the part where I realize I'm an idiot. Um, I was trying to do something cute with it. And uh, we didn't have to do that because we could have just done this. Ah. So now that we figured that out, this is actually going to be. Um, so these will be here. There will be a middle section here that's either going to be two. It's either going to be two, three or five wide. And then there's going to be another one of these over here so that we can basically infinitely scale it to the build limit of the world, which is ridiculously high anyway. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Nobody has water. Why does nobody have water? Why are these pa They're paused because I told them to. That's right. I don't want it turned off. I want somebody in there pumping their log, please. Now. There better be people in there. There are. There are. There are people in there. Uh, now I feel really bad. First, I starve my iron teeth. And now I'm trying to dehydrate my folk tales. They're all thirsty. You 
seriously need to start pumping your log so that somebody gets a drink. I am so incredibly sorry. That was my own hubris. Wasn't paying attention in the last episode, I guess. Yeah, we have, uh... Ten. Of the... We have ten. Twelve. And at least some beavers are getting a drink. Ah. Uh, I am the worst overlord ever. I'll make hats out of all the ones that die. Eh, it looks like and the people who are dying are just dying of old age, so... I am not a murderer! Ding! But, uh... All right. How close are these to being done? Ooh, that one might... Ooh, that one's actually about to be built. And then we have some unemployed beavers. We're going to start pumping their logs. Yes! Perfect. Um, I swear I told you guys to demolish those. No, it's not top priority right now. It's just what's stuck in my head. Yeah. Okay, but I want to plan this out a little bit too. So we're going to make a really cool dam right here. And we're probably going to raise the level of this lake on the outside with levees. So that this is like a major source of water for us because we're going to get into droughts that are 30 and 40 days long. And that's the lifespan of a beaver. Do you imagine being born and never seeing water in your life? Like flowing water. That just blows my mind. Okay. I was going to try and get something productive done. Today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some serious water going on there. Now, are they done with those? Oh, they are. Perfect. Those are going to be completely loaded with workers here in a little bit. Great. Beautiful. Yes. Pump that log. Thank you. Wonderful. Ah, oh, beautiful. Nobody's dying of thirst today. Maybe tomorrow. But I think, haha. -ha, yes, we are uh, currently sitting at 49. Oh, huh, and it just dipped because it was break time. So are these all running at 75%? No, it's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. And that is just missing some gears and gears are currently being shunted to these. So we'll just keep that a going and I'm going to continue to actually screw it. What building lacks workers? Oh, that's right. These are low priority. That's fine. They're supposed to be the catch all. And I don't know how we've managed to do it, but we have managed to keep 96 beavers in the colony. I have no idea how. But. Yeah, so when the beavers finally have some time not doing the other ridiculous projects I keep giving them, uh, they'll start building up on the uh, beaver plaza. We're going to have to find something else to call it for the iron teeth, but uh, the folk the, ah, the beaver commune. 
There you go. Or beaver comment. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what we should call the big beaver hotel. For the folktales. For the iron teeth. I don't know. That one should just be something like Bucktooth Tower or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Perfect. I feel like the, the only problem with games like this is once you get to a certain point, it is just sit back and watch it not go to shit. Like, there's not much to do in between planning sessions. I mean, yeah, we could look at all the things that need to be built and go, ooh, ah, wonderful. Um, and honestly, I might just let this run until all of this is done and bring you back. We're in cycle six, day 21. Uh, I think years are 40 days or the the cycles change based on when the droughts come. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I could just let it go and. Um, here's paper explosives. I could just let it go, I guess. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below. I'm probably going to let it go after this time. Um, so your comments will not directly influence next episode, but they probably will the, the the next time a big planning session like this comes up. Ooh, the drought ended. Yay! So many freaking beavers. And yeah. There's oops. There's that, too. I love how fast they waddle when when they when you get them, you kind of catch them off guard. But that's what three times speed does for you. Oh, I'm just so happy that we've got water again. I wonder how much water each beaver needs per day. I know base game is like three or five or something like that. And I know that I have a bunch of mods that. Well, actually, no, I don't have any mods that tweak beavers. Doesn't make them healthier or anything like that. So because those were on the old mod loader and those don't work anymore. So, yeah, I don't ha I have any mods to modify the beavers. Each beaver needs three water per day each. Whoa, this is Cass at the Department of Redundancy Department. How can I be of service? Blah, blah. So that requires log planks and gears. So, oh, those are getting done. What are we on? You just not have planks? Is that the issue? Or are they finally starting construction on like some of this stuff? Those need logs and planks and these need just logs and huh, I don't know. But maybe we should try to get our beavers well-being up a little bit. We could build them some lidos. Those are always fun. Um, like to wait until we could really shape the shape everything. But we can also do the temple. Not that I really give a shit about that, but. Um, yeah, 400 science points. The temple is absolutely massive. 
but we can put it there and oh, holy crap and they are just emptying out their storage to build that okay wow and then yeah i don't i mean i don't really have anything else i can do right this second I eventually want to get to the point where we have these the whole way across. So there's planks on that side and these on this side, and then we'll do paper mills closer to the explosive factory so they can just all come out and run right into the explosives. Um, because paper is used to make explosives in this, which is actually very accurate. You can do that. Um, it's not hard, and no, I won't tell you because I'd love to keep my YouTube channel and not be on the FBI's most wanted list for things other than my search history. <laughs> it sounds so bad, but I wanted to be a writer for a long time, so I've, I've looked up some stuff. <laughs> I like my stuff to be accurate. Mostly, you know, explosives, that kind of stuff. When you're writing a potential crime novel about somebody who uses explosives to get the job done, you need to know what's left behind when certain explosives are used. What kind of chemicals and that stuff, apparently. It, that's not normal. Duh. Although, I will say this. As much as I'm joking about my internet search history and whatnot... Um, there's actually websites that you can go to that are specifically for writers to be able to ask those questions without getting flagged. <sighs> so. Oh. Oh. So tired. It's been a long couple of weeks for me. I don't know about you guys, but... Let's see. What else can we do other than sit on our collective asses and watch absolutely nothing get really done? So are you you're still full of logs and you just emptied into that? Good God, man. Um, in fact, we have so we have five vacancies. Yes, five vacancies. Um, which would be nope I don't know um, I got nothing so no good selected oh hey they finally built it uh, this one is going to be scrap metal and then this is going to empty so they'll haul all of that down in there and then all of the uh, these scrap bundle boys, they'll get emptied out. See all these beavers coming down from here because all of these have been full and those beavers haven't been doing anything. Um, I think I might need another hauling post, but I don't have any more beavers right now. And I think we've actually hit a... a um, population homeostasis if you will population stability with the amount of houses that we have and how long our beavers live um, so we might be able to push the envelope on that a little bit but I think we're going to have to get there while being up even higher uh, in order to make that happen now what's the next best thing we can do keep them from getting injured get them all wet all right, wet beaver it is. Um, bread, cattail crackers, and maple pastries for food, which means we could probably get into the packaging plant and make bentos for them. That's lunch boxes in Japanese, sorry. Um, more campfire access and rooftop terraces, and then some aesthetics. Put some roofs on some stuff, man. Which 
Mm, yeah. We'll be just fine to do that. Okay. So we can get rid of that. This is metal blocks. So we're going to don't do that. We're going to grab this. Put that there and put that there. This one is going to be uh, planks. This one is going to be metal blocks. And then we won't end up needing that. We should also get one for dirt. Because actually dirt is the one thing that we're not going to be able to use a lot of. And we're going to run out of places to store it. I don't think well-being. I don't think that the mud bath needs dirt to like refill it. But it might it very well might. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll detonate out all of this to level two. Why the fuck is there another tree? We'll detonate all of this out to level two. Uh, in which case we'll need to demolish all of that as well. And then we'll detonate out the bottom to get it all down to that level. Is that that might be the lowest level, which would be fine because we can build up the sides however we need to. But yeah, so we'll do that and then grab levies. Just do a simple straight up levy like that. Bring this back to here. Actually, here is fine. Then we'll demolish those and do the levies. Levies, please. All the way back to here. Which we can actually. Um, whoops, need that, 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 this can be deleted, this can be, uh, and then this can also be, uh, removed, there we go. And as soon as that's removed, we can put the path there. I'll delete that and we'll put the levees the whole way down. And that way. Oh, damn. I'll tell you, these beavers are fast, man. Because, yeah, we can build that up one level, then we'll build stairs, build it up another level. So it'll be three deep. And then that would take it up to this level here. But we'll have to build another dam structure here. And then this area will be perfect for. Um, perfect. There's no better way to put it. It will be perfect. All right. Are you? Yeah, let's make you high priority. Then we might actually get to making dinamite. In theory. Just waiting on gears. OK. And that's just a matter of we have no power. Speaking of which, let's go into power. Let's go into gravity batteries. And I have no idea how these things work. Just so we're abundantly clear on that.
Let's see. Can I use a high-powered shaft? I can. And then another powered shaft. There we go. And there's nobody in those, so... But all they're gone. So we have a high-powered shaft there. And I want to store basically my body weight in power. I know, that's a lot, but... Hmm... So how does this work? It's not helpful at all. I know it needs to be built tall, like really tall. So let's build something that we can expand out this direction as needed. Now, I don't feel the need to drop this down at all. In fact, High-powered shaft. Get that, that, and that unlocked. And then that's a universal power shaft. We'll grab that too. We have 3.3 thousand, we might as well. Now we need to go up. Like, a lot. So we're gonna do... Here's the question, though. If I do a universal shaft, and I put a vertical on top of it, it doesn't actually connect. So we'll... Actually, it might connect. Hold on. We'll have to see if that connects. If that connects like that, uh, we'll be fine. If it doesn't connect like that, we'll have to figure something else out. Oh. Well, everything is going swimmingly otherwise. We are making explosives, I'll be damned. And they're gonna... S oh, yeah, we are making explosives. I'll be damned. Sweet. Um, so, the there's a funny mechanic in the game where the beavers, they can't work on something unless they can touch it. But they can actually work on anything as long as they can touch an adjacent square. So, like these beavers are putting these down, they'll actually be able to put down all these outside TNTs um, before we'd have to worry about, like, carving them out. So it'll be kind of a longer process, but we don't have to path up to these so that they can fill them all in unless we just wanted to, you know, press a button and watch it all explode. But it'll only explode, like, one level at a time, so we'd have to do all of this and then connect them with explodies so not the best idea so basically once this little channel is done i'm going to put more dynamite in it so that it'll be too deep um all the time and go from there which reminds me we only have the little water wheels doesn't benefit us any honestly But I'm going to grab this and drag this as far out as it will go. And then click on that. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we can reach all of that. Awesome.
Ooh, they're almost done. You might get to see some explodies this time. Oh yeah, uh, it occurs to me. I wanted to do that too. And if we turn these to higher priority, See, here's something I don't understand. They deliver the dynamite, but they didn't assemble it. Like, they'll deliver it and then make somebody else assemble it. And that just seems extremely inefficient for our super efficient beavers. Yeah, we have definitely hit some kind of stasis in our um, colony. About 96 beavers is what we're stuck with, stuck at. However you want to say it. All right, and let's detonate those. Three, two. Ah, so satisfying. So incredibly satisfying. All right, now uh, back to lands. Whoops, landscaping dinamite that way. That one can detonate because it's all by its lonesome anyway. And then that one can detonate because it's also all by its lonesome. And we'll put that there. And then we'll grab our priorities and make these all higher priority. Just because I want to get this part squared away. See how much green it brought? Just bringing the water out that far. This is going to be amazing. Incapacitated? How many of you are sick? Oh, two of you. I'm just glad it doesn't tell me how they got hurt. Because then I'd have to file, you know, a workman's comp. And that's, you know, nobody wants to do that. Wow, we're really cruising through that now. And we have a lot of paper, but we're going to end up needing more. And that isn't built yet. Okay. I think we're going to have to figure out something much more spectacular on the power front. But we'll get there. Slowly but surely. See, like that guy delivered and then he did 30% of the work. Like... That's not the shit that gets you a meal at the end of the day. Whatever. You know, how many planks do we have? We have 10 planks. Let's have them prioritize that and get the planks there. Uh because that will get them their spirituality bullshit and uh then they'll feel better about themselves i don't know their god says it's okay to chew on wood i, I don't know or maybe they believe in some kind of philosopher you know Notch Twain or something like that. I, I don't know. I got nothing. Bucktooth McGee. Now I'm just grasping at straws. All right, these are completely chuck frickin' full. And we need to figure out some kind of the packaged food stuff. All right, uh, food, packaging plant. It needs 60 horsepower. So if we put 
We put this. Um, large windmill. Packaging plant. Paths, and this time we're going to do gravel paths. Yeah, it kind of looks good. And then one of them's there. And then when that... I don't know what it needs. Oh, geez, that needs treated planks. For fuck's sake. Um, actually... That needs treated planks. We don't have treated planks. Now... So that's set to cut. We can actually clear some of that. Those... have sap. We're gonna clear some of that. We're gonna clear... that much... from being cut. And then we're gonna go into here, we're gonna get the... Tapper's Shack. And then, oh, oh, this one. I'm gonna cut that. And as soon as those are out of the way, we'll put the tapper shack right there. Because we have one unemployed beaver. Oh my God, they built the temple. See? They worship the wood, the tree, the great Gaia. I don't know. One more. Come on, dude. Prioritize maple. No. Damn it. that tapper shack get a forester here and a tapper shack here and then plant how far does that reach oh fuck that reaches forever plant pines from here to there and then demolish that and plant more pint. And a few of these will get planted because this, <coughs> this uh, forester is within range of those. But, wait. You can't quite reach that. Why are you Planting those ones out there. Who the hell are you? Oh, this one can reach that. Okay, cool. So these take uh, 12 days to reach maturity and then seven days to produce two resin. So we've got plenty of time. We just got to get them planted. Now these... Oh, wait. We are in the middle of a drought. I'm an idiot. And we are all pumping. Wonderful. Stranded. Are you kidding me? Go home. Damn beavers. 
But that's going to be where we call it today. If you enjoyed the content, you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much to my patrons who, well, make all of this possible. And without whom, I have a feeling I would need to grind my teeth against something. Please don't make me do that. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.